Buckle up, my friends. Get your tinfoil hats on because it's conspiracy theory time. Well, not necessarily conspiracy, but definitely theory time as I try to explain the decrease in performance in these Thunderbolt Edge batteries versus last year. And I'm going to spare you the full rundown. If you want to know all the nitty gritty details, I'll put a playlist link down in the description. It's interesting. There are a lot of videos. I have a lot to say about batteries. I've done a lot of testing on batteries. And last year I was trying to find the best battery because, well, I use a lot of batteries for my holiday decorations. And surprising to me, the Thunderbolt Edge beat out everything, both in pennies per milliamp, as far as output goes, to the overall price versus the power. These were the best. To my surprise, however, when I went into Harbor Freight this year to purchase batteries, I started thinking about stocking up already and they were running a sale, which is a good thing because last year these were $6.99 for an 18 pack of these double A's and also for the triple A's. But this year, well, you know, we have reasons that prices are going up. I'm not very happy with that, but prices have been going up and now this $6.99 has turned into $8.99 and most recently $9.99 for the same 18 pack. Well, they're not as good of a proposition at that price, but still the performance was so good I thought maybe I could use less batteries, even if I paid more, just by using the Thunderbolt Edge. And then a sale came in. I'm an Inside Track Club member, so I'll get that sale price, $3.99 for the 18 pack. Well, I almost bought every AA that they had, but then I started remembering one thing. I mentioned this in my very first video about Thunderbolt Edge. Harbor Freight, at least in my experience, my opinion, the quality can sometimes vary. Now they've gotten really good. Some of their tools and stuff are really good, but sometimes I've purchased stuff in the past where it would be a very good performing, very high quality product I felt. And then I bought another one a little bit later, maybe a different lot was manufactured and it just wasn't as good. And then maybe I go back sometime later and it's back to normal, back to better. You just never know. So rather than buying hundreds and hundreds of these, I thought, you know, I'll just buy one pack this year and test them again. Put them right back in that same discharge tester that I used last year, the same settings, and make sure that I'm getting the exceptional performance because this performance, I'll show you on the screen, it was really good. And given that it cost less last year, it was just a double win, so my favorite battery. But sadly, when I tested this year, well, they just didn't test as well. It wasn't the 1820 milliamp hour average, it was 1500 and something, I'll put it on your screen. Yeah, I wasn't happy. That's where the tin foil hat comes in because I've developed a couple of theories that I think might explain why the performance isn't that good. My first theory is that maybe Harbor Freight, and how many times has this happened, that a company makes a product, establishes a brand as being a good value and a great performer. I mean, already you can probably start thinking of companies, right? They get their name established as being good, a good value, good quality. And then over the years, the quality goes down and the price goes up and they're just kind of riding on their name. Well, that could have happened here with the Thunderbolt Edge. It is entirely possible that they made them super high performance, just absolutely packed with power for a few years to get it established. They used to compare these to other brands on the back of the card. This will play in in just a minute. Now they don't. So, you know, it could be that it was the concerted effort to get the name established and then start reducing the output, make them a little cheaper or a spin on that. It is entirely possible that Harbor Freight's not even at fault. Maybe who they contracted to manufacture these for them made just a banger of a battery and then, you know, a little less of an ingredient here, a little lower quality control there, and maybe they're just not as good which would be sad, but it is entirely possible. It's also possible that maybe Harbor Freight gave them a range. I mean, looking at some of the batteries they're comparing them to here, Energizer, looking at Energizer, well, these, even at the lower performance this year, are kind of right in with what I have tested Energizer at. Who knows on that, but that's theory number one. Theory number two, and this is a biggie and one that I think I have the receipts for a theory I think I can back up and possibly test to validate. And that is if we flip these around on every battery at Harbor Freight, both the Thunderbolt Edge and their Thunderbolt Magnum, which is the line below these used to be their top line. 
but now it's a line below these, they all have this little small circle. And in this circle is two sets of numbers. The top set, I have no idea what it is. It could be the assembly plan, it could be a manufacturing line, it could be their internal code for whoever made the batteries. And by the way, I noticed that late into 2024, how I think that we're gonna see in just a second, I noticed the numbers have changed. They were all consistent on the earlier ones and then the later ones, including the 2025 ones that I saw in the store, those have changed and it's a different number, but it could be that, you know, it's some internal number, manufacturing plan or whatever, but these lower numbers, where it says right here, 502024, I believe that that is the month and the year because I'll show you some pictures here. I was able to find 2024, so 2024, I was able to find 2025. I was able to find the prefix numbers all the way down to 01, all the way up to 52. There are 52 weeks in a year. Ten foily, right? Well, let's look at this pack. This says 42, 2024. So if my theory is correct, then that is the 42nd week of 2024, the first week in October. If I look on the bottom of these batteries, you're gonna see a number here. Let's see if I can get you close enough to see. Right there, you see where that says 10, 2029. Well, 10 would be October, 42 is October, and 2029, that's five years from 2024. Now, a curious thing about the Thunderbolt Edge, both the new and the old packaging, and also maybe another tell here, is that they don't state anywhere on these packages a freshness date or a good through date. Think about all the other batteries, like the Duracells, Rayovax, even these King cells here, they all have a freshness date and usually they're about 10 years, 10, 12 years. I've seen as high as 15 on the Rayovac Fusions, but typically I would say the average is about 10 years that companies put on their batteries. Well, this looks to me, if the dating is correct, October 2024, October 2029, that they only have a five-year date that they consider their batteries to have. And remember I said the packaging would come into play here. They were comparing to other batteries, you can see right there. So the 42nd week to the 50th, they changed the packaging and they took this comparison away. Why would you do that? I've never known Harbor Freight to be scared of comparing to another company because they compare basically every product that they have on their shelves. But they took this away on the packaging and it doesn't really make sense to me because the packaging otherwise looks to be the same. I don't think that this graphic takes away from anything here. On the front, it looks well, practically the same. Now the earliest, earliest models of these had a little lightning bolt card inserted in that they took out. You know, that is cost, I can see dropping that. But why would you drop this comparison and look at this. Look at the dates on the bottom. Oh, there's an omission here. Do you see a date on that? I do not see a date. And that's on these new batteries, none of them. 42nd week, these have a date. See about these. Yeah, these don't have, so I'm gonna know that that's gonna be after the 42nd, and look at that. 47th week in 2024, they don't have a date on the bottom. Anywhere on this battery that I've seen, there's not a date, so they're kinda hiding it, it looks like to me. There's no best buy date on these, no freshness guarantee anymore. That leads me to believe, the biggest part of my theory here, the second theory, is that these just don't age well. They don't age well, they're not capable of sitting up versus other good quality batteries which can sit up for 10, you know, 12 years and still output. And that might explain why last year, I looked back and the batteries I tested last year were from the 24th week of 2024, which means they were made in June and I tested them in September. And I had multiple packages of them I've tested a lot of these batteries. They were very consistent, very good last year, but they were also a lot fresher. They were only three months old, which could explain that outstanding performance and could explain why when I'm testing batteries that are almost, or well, practically a year old now, that they're not that good, not that performance. This 42 was mid-October, and this is the last two weeks of December. So I know there's only a couple of months, but if these don't age well and they only had a five-year date to begin with, 
then I should be able to test these oldest double A's that I have versus the newest double A's that I have and see a slight lower level on the older battery than the newer ones. And these shouldn't match up to the power level of the very fresh batteries that I tested last year. So if I see a lower level between this pack and this pack, then that can kind of validate what I'm seeing with the dates and with my theory that these just don't sit up well. There's only one way to find out. So I'm gonna go straight to these newer ones. It's gonna go ahead and open this up and let's find out. This is the only way to find out. And if you question any of what I'm saying or have any other theories, feel free to drop them in the comments. But let me open these up. I'm going to get out four batteries. There's three, there's four. And let's look these over just to make sure they haven't just moved the date. So here's my four. Let's just move the camera over here so we can see it. And this is going to take me hours and hours, a couple of days, because I might do this in multiple. Uh oh. Lost my power here. I'll be right back. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. It'll take me quite a few hours because I'm hoping that these will give over four hours, but they won't give much over four hours because they're a little older. So let me change the mode here to discharge, change the current to 400, and this will start and we'll be on our way. But this is gonna take me quite a while, but for you, it's gonna happen in a snap. R2 might not even need his aluminum foil hat because I have been testing. It's been more than a few hours. It's been a few days because it kind of went crazy with the testing. Remember the 50th week, this pack here with the 5-0-2024. That's what I left you testing. Well, I've tested that pack. I've tested this pack. I've tested this pack. I've tested this pack. Kind of went crazy with the testing. And boy, do I have some information. I was pretty right on some things, definitely off on at least one thing. I'll lead off with what I was wrong on. You can see this is the 42nd week, so the first week in October, that date on the bottom, 10, 2029, 20, five years from the first week in October, the expiration date on these. Well, let's just take a look here. Let's see, go there. This is the milliamp hours it was able to extract out of these batteries. That's 1816 milliamp hours average. Remember my excellent performance when I tested all these last year, 1820. So that's right in line with these. And how long did it take to extract this? Well, average all these numbers out and it's exactly like last year, four hours and 34 minutes meaning that these are very good performing batteries. So let's go back to these 50 ones where I left you. These are the newer batteries, the newer packaging. Remember the labeling there, don't have it here. The 50th week, so the next to last week in December. These are different batteries. They don't have the expiration date on the bottom of them, though I did find an expiration date here, but still different. We'll talk about that. I tested those, remember 1820 was the excellent benchmark. These are 1816, four hours and 34 minutes. So how did these fare? 1547, nowhere near and very much, right in line with the batteries I tested a couple of weeks ago that led me to believe these weren't performing as well. Three hours and 53 minutes. That's even less than a couple of weeks ago, but it does prove me wrong because I was thinking they would be newer so they would perform better that these just didn't age well sitting up. Not true, but that means I can go back to my theory number one. Date stamp down here, that upper number, I didn't know what it was, but remember I suspected it had something to do with the manufacturer. Well, I think it has everything to do with the manufacturer and everything to do with the performance and why it's not that good this year because the packaging being different, this top number being different, 35926 on every pack of new, remember I've got new here, I have new here, I have two new ones over here, and a couple of the older ones from last year with the older design, and I tested those as well, and they were right in line. I think it was, let's see, I noted it over here, 1814, so very close. Not 1816, like the second pack, but very close. And it was four hours and 33 minutes on average for these. So these older packs definitely doing well and aging well. But these newer ones, I tested the 47s that I had, and that's what those over there are, and the 50s. And they were not good performers. 
I said 1547 and 353 for this. The 47 pack was 1525 and 350. So just a little bit less, but right in line. And of course, not having that manufacturer date on the bottom, but let me show you where it actually is on these. I have to kind of zoom in here. It's actually right there. Let's see if I can zoom in and show it to you here. See that? It says 1229. Well, that perfectly backs up my dating again because the 50th week of 2024 is the next to last week in 2024. And this is 1229. Add five years to that. December 2029 perfectly backs up what I've been saying about the timing. But this manufacturer, 35926. All the new ones that I have are 35926, including the ones over there. But these old ones are 37313. And when I started looking back on my videos from last year, where I was having such excellent performance with these, performance that has continued on these older packs, they were 37313. So I think this confirms, I believe, confirms my suspicion, they've switched manufacturers. These have switched plants or something, because they're not even labeling them, stamping them the same. I mean, the outside does look the same, but looks can be deceiving. These and these are not the same battery. They might be branded Thunderbolt Edge, but they, in my opinion, are not the same battery. So what I take from this is that they have different manufacturers and that's why the quality is less and that's why the performance is less. When I test, using the exact same tester. So, you know, it's not conspiracy stuff. It's just the way things are. And that means if I'm in a Harbor Freight and they have these for $3.99, they still do for a couple of more days, I'm gonna go look and see if I can find any more of these older packaging if I find that, and I find the 37313 right there, because this is their item number, it's the same. That item number is still the same. Where is it? There it is. Oh, they've moved that. 64490, that's the same. But if I can find these older packaged ones, I might scoop up those at the 399, knowing that they're going to be okay for me. Now, if I were someone that was buying them to store, didn't use a lot of batteries, I still wouldn't because I know they have a five year, only a five year shelf life guarantee. But for me, using for holiday decorations, knowing they still perform like they did last year, these older ones, I'll be looking for those. So there we go. Yeah, they're not the same battery at all this year that they were last year. So now you know what to look for if you're considering these, at least my opinion based on my experience. And now you can make your own determinations and comment below with what you think. I kind of sort of proved my theories, but it was more like a funnel. I had two theories and they just sort of converged to tell me the answer, but that was with some actual testing and some observation, which is how things work. You observe, you make a hypothesis, you test it as much as you can. You try to draw correlations where you can, and I was able to do that. And it tells me a lot about these Thunderbolt Edge batteries. Now you know, now I know. Comment below with what you think and R2. You don't need this anymore, but you can tell them to make sure they're subscribed and have the notification bell active so they don't miss any future videos.